G'day guys, welcome to the beautiful Emerald Lakes once again this morning. This morning I'm going to be doing a ball review for you and today I'm going to be testing the Bridgestone Tour B RXS. Now, I don't know particularly whether these balls will suit me, but I wanted to test them anyway. They're one of the only balls that Bridgestone make in yellow in terms of their Tour balls, so let's give them a crack and see how they go. It'll be interesting to see the distances, the spins, uh, compared to the Tour BX, which I use, so let's see how this goes. Alrighty, so initial thoughts off the driver, it's very soft and I'm not normally a fan of very soft because it feels a little bit trampoline a little bit springy. Um, we'll see, I mean that's first hit right, so we'll see how we go and uh, let's just take it with a grain of salt, be a little bit more open than, than one shot but yeah, I'm sure if I nailed it straight down over the bunker with a slight drawer, it would have been amazing, but I didn't. So let's go to it. I don't think we're going to be able to reach this green in two by pushing it out there. It adds about 30 metres to the hole, so we'll give it a crack anyway, and uh, let's go find our ball. Alrighty, so just on 200 out, which in these conditions for me is going to be a two iron. I'm going to try and actually hit it a bit lower and run it up. If I nail it, I'm probably going to go over the green. So we'll see. Wait a bit. It might be in the green side bunker. Or just short of it, but I tried to take a little bit off it and I probably could have had a full swing. But either way, we're up there. It's not bad. That wasn't a very good shot. Alrighty, not a great par to be honest with you. That should have been a easy up and down, just landed in a really awkward spot. Anyway, uh, the ball feels good, actually. It, it went um, a little bit longer off the driver than what I expected. Like I said, it does feel a little soft, but then the two iron when I hit that, it felt quite nice. So maybe a bit of a trade-off, but we've got a par three here, uh, about 150 to the pin, I reckon 153, something like that. Plays a bit long, plays uphill, probably plays about 157. And uh, let's see what we go. So I got a six iron. Just about into the bunker. I'm going to hit two more and so I'm going to hit two more to give us a better comparison about how they feel off the uh, six iron. Center of the green. One. just rolled up to the back I got that a little thin but feels pretty good righty -o. so on all three of those iron shots I uh, didn't hit them too badly I hit that last one a little thin the first one 
it was kind of a bit of a pull but i still struck it okay uh i saw the second one in the middle probably the best one that i hit when that landed on the green that did have quite a bit of spin and stop and that's even with a you know six iron into the green so that was impressive um now out of the bunker so i'm going to try and grab those two other balls hit some bunker shots see what they feel like out of there i'm not looking for much spin here because it's going to be running downhill down grain so i'm not expecting it to spin a whole lot but uh let's just see how they feel and get a bit better gauge of how they are out of the bunker so here's where they are that's the pitch mark so it's bounced after coming in low and stopped just there so that's really good um and then that's the other one so and of course my first one's in the bunker not bad at all Talk to you in a minute because the groundsman's waiting. Alrighty, sorry guys, we had the. Uh, I don't want to keep the groundsman waiting, but first two were quite good. Um, out of the bunker felt nice. First one was obviously the one I was concentrating on there, uh, and then from there the second one was also good. Um, landed not too far, and then the third one I was, you know, my head wasn't there. I was thinking about trying to get off the green. So anyhow. Um, really good happy with them out of the bunker in terms of durability i'll show you in a minute we'll play one more hole which is another par five and then uh, we'll see how durable it's been Alrighty, it's going to be a good hole to see the distance of it and i might actually hit a few i'll probably hit all three again really got onto that one but I think it might have clipped the tree just on the right side. Alrighty so I hit these two as well. First one just up that right edge. down the middle so see how they've gone alrighty so off the driver again they do feel a touch soft um, but they have been going quite a way so the last one that went down the middle actually I didn't get that well it was a bit of a low cut might have come out of it a bit quick making sure I don't take too much time here um, the first one I got really well it just clipped the top of that tree and didn't really draw back the way that I thought it would second one I hit quite well too it just went left so that's not going to give us a good gauge it's a bit of a dead ball but let's uh let's go see how far up it is and I can compare it to where I normally am all right so as we're walking up to the ball there's the first one which hit the tree just there dropped down there there's the second one actually the, uh, the sorry the third one that I didn't hit all that well and it's gone very well and then the final one is over there just in the edge of those trees All right, so, you know I said I didn't hit this one very well, but I've got 175 in, I'm not gonna stand in the ditch. We got 175 in, 
and I hit it from the back tee. So that is actually really, really good for something that I don't feel like I hit that well. It's done very well. Four iron ends, a 175. There we go. One water ball. Four iron into 175. Right. Hit the back of the bunker. See if we can get one on the green. Oh, that's the one. Oh, that's real good. That's very good. Let me see if I can zoom that up. See if I can. There we go. Look at that. From 175. Righty. So that last shot was a cracker. You know, 175 out, probably... I don't know, it looks like six feet from the pin, but who knows when we get up there. And we are one ball down though. So, uh, yeah, let's not talk about that one. I guess we all do it, don't we? Camera's on, not really thinking, have a crack and straight into the water. But nevertheless, uh, the second shot's not too bad either. It's just a small up and down for birdie. This is a par five, but the third shot is the money. Eagle putt, so. Let's go from there. Righty, so a great look at an eagle putt here. Of course, you can't exactly call it an eagle because I hit one in the water, but. There seems to be a trend that on every third shot, I do okay. feel real nice they're not too springy um, and there's really not too many complaints with them but the thing that I don't think gets talked about all that much when you're choosing a ball is the speed of the ball off the putter more so than how it feels and I like this speed it's not too quick it doesn't bounce doesn't jump it's good Absolutely crushed. I'm actually going to measure that one. And uh, Howdy guys, so this went far. 270 meters, which is a long way in the wet. But 154 to the pin, and I got a six iron. So let's see how this goes. Crushed it. Righty. We're on, eagle putt. Alrighty guys, so before we get to short game, which we're gonna do up here, with a little bit of extra distance that these balls seem to be giving me, it's piqued my interest to see whether I can drive this green. Now I know that I'm normally about 20 metres short. If I really get onto it, I can get up into that left side bunker, but let's just see how we go. Pins at the front, it's about 272 to the front, 280 to the middle. See if we can nail it. We've got three shots. I'm going to try and time these, I'm not just going to try and whack them, see if we can get there. Oh, that's a good start. Go, go.
about 10 metres short. But that was a good start. Go again. Hit that tree anyway, so it's nowhere. Dead ball. Try to put a bit more into that one. Let's see, last chance. See if we can really roost it. Second drive, two pretty good drives there. Absolutely nailed the first one. Let's see how close it is. I reckon it's about 10 15 minutes. So there's the second one which hit that tree. It's a green. If we can see just down here, that's the first ball, not far from the pin. And actually, the third ball is up, I don't know if I can see it on the camera, up there. And that's even closer. So Pretty good tee shots. Alrighty guys, so good chance to test out the short game. This shot here is really not my cup of tea. It's a tight lie. Uh, 15, 20 meters to the fringe of the green. Not much spin. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Nope. And that is exactly why. But, try. That actually did spin quite a bit. I'm hoping that you can see that. Move out of the way a bit. No. Get in the hole. So, alright, that was a quick shot. I'm going to do something from a much easier chip in a second, but I mean, some people would say that's easy for me. I hate that shot. Um, both of those balls, which I actually did get clean and, and sat there, they really did spin. So, I'm quite impressed already. Let me try some other short game shots, see how we go from there. So, actually feels pretty good, pretty consistent, downhill, down grain, not going to expect much spin, but the trajectory off the wedge was the same, I didn't really get a flyer, they could, you know, nice trajectory, so I'm going to go out of this short bunker here now, see how we go from there. Go for a longer bunker and try the longer bunker and then I'll give you my uh, verdict at the end.
All right, so the longer bunker shots were actually quite surprising. I know the camera probably wasn't on the best angle. Um, first shot was a little bit, how you going? But the rest of them were really good. Nearly hold a couple, uh, but the spin was what sort of got me. So from that longer bunker shot, I mean, obviously I'd expect to see some kind of spin, but it was going down the hill there and down the grain and it checked up really nicely on a number of those balls. And you know, it is wet as well as sandy so that's generally not going to generate much spin but really happy with that and then in addition to that um nearly hold out on a couple so really really good ball and it surprised me a bit um i've got to say i think with a little bit of adjusting i can get used to the extra few meters that the ball gives and i, I think i said that about the talamate as well i don't generally like when i find that a ball can have that that one that just pops an extra you know five meters um this didn't seem to do that it just seemed to be a little bit longer in general which is much easier to manage it's a little bit more difficult to manage a ball if they all go a particular distance and then for whatever reason one just goes an extra five or ten meters longer um and it's not a flyer or anything like that so really good ball my verdict the durability of it was really really good too i just hit my head um I just took a look at the balls that I was using, not a scratch on any of them. Um, maybe one tiny scuff from the sand there, but that was it. So, and I find that yellow balls in general tend to be uh, a lot more durable. I don't know what, whether there's something in that or not, but just seems to be what I found. Strix and Z stars are the same. Probably ones are the same. And yeah, so just walking back to the car now, really happy with the ball. Uh, if there was anything that I'd say was a touch of a downside, it probably just the softness off the driver however again that was poss possibly personal preference because i was getting more distance out of the driver so it seems like a win all round and i should probably do a uh, a video with that versus the tour bx to see is it worth me actually taking a look at switching the balls so thanks guys i'm at my car now hope you uh, liked it um give us a thumbs up and a comment and let me know what you want to see next cheers